Hey man, it on BPs. I just knocked out a raw ass interview with real life street stars, man. You know what it is. Real life. Everybody start clapping right now. Yeah. We got Owen B. Peasy in the building. What's, <laughs> what's going on, brother? Man, I'm feeling good. How you feeling, guys? Man, shit, yeah. nigga. I'm, yeah. I'm trying to get like you. You in the bitch. Oh, big shining. Nah, yeah. <laughs> man, I ain't doing too much, man. I could be doing a little bit more, man. Y'all shining too, though. Hey, see. man, say, we tried, nigga. Yeah. Hey, man, what's going on, brother? I ain't gonna lie, I'm, like, uh, I'm realizing this bitch just touching all them all the markets I feel like I ain't touch, you feel me? Like on some shit like I ain't I be coming to Dallas but I don't come out here and just fuck around. So I came out of this bitch and just, you know, yeah. fucking with who I need to fuck with, you feel me? You touch down. Man, this is one thing I always wanna ask the artists that ain't from here. You'll hear the artists and they always got a bar for the women in Texas. It's almost like they got a lineup out here or some shit. Did you already start your little Dallas lineup? <laughs> Yeah, I got, I got, I got a little song. <laughs> yeah, I got a little, we, I got right a little when you say I come to Dallas to fuck around, but we was already knowing. Yeah, I got, I got, I got a little song. I got a little song. What's, what's, what city really would you say just got him, got him? Like the top three cities top that got him. Top three cities like in America. In America, what? Yeah, let's stay in America. That got him. I say all right. Somewhere in Arizona. I ain't going in order. <laughs> Somewhere in Arizona. Arizona, definitely. Florida. For sure. For sure. Nigga sleep on Florida. No, nobody sleep on Florida. Nobody sleep on Oh, goddamn. New York. New York? I done yeah. ran into some fine shit in New York, bro. I ain't gonna lie. Boba dog looking shit. <laughs> oh, jeez. And, and, and when we woke up, that bitch still looked the same. I'm like, oh, yeah, bitch, you, you wasn't real fine. Them, <laughs> shit, she was she was like she was like two hundred and fifty pounds. I was like, oh, yeah, bitch, you you wasn't real fine. Them, <laughs> she was she was like she was like Dominican or something. Oh, jeez. Like, yeah. Oh, shit, oh, shit, oh, oh, shit. I got oh, I got to ask my palms itching. That shit hard. Yeah, I got to ask you, PZ. Let's see, you you find some thick fine on the twenty first, and you know Thanksgiving on the twenty fifth. You bring it through. To the house? Yeah. Man, fuck that. Nah, I ain't bringing it. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, nah, man. I just met your ass on the 21st, bitch. On the, I bring it to the house on the 23rd, bitch. The 24th, you might be fucking my brother that was up. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, so, bitch, you can come to the yo. <laughs> and you can come to the studio. Shit. Get. Man, you working uh, on that? You working on that new project, man. Tell yeah, us a little yeah, bit yeah. about it. Hey, uh, I'm just goddamn. I'm really just having fun on that motherfucking film. I ain't. I'm I'm just showing people like different sides of me type shit. I've know? definitely heard that on the streets. Um, man, that's a damn near gospel album, gospel song, yeah, bro. Yeah, I fuck with that street yeah, song. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Hey, good looking, good looking, good looking. Man, this is what, this is what I gotta ask, man. Because uh, you know, a lot of times, man, when you hear artists, you know, and they, you know, they got that shit where they talking that shit on the other end when they sliding and they yeah, doing yeah, they they yeah. shit, but. What thing I like about you is you always show the other side of it. Yeah. And you always like even your last album with the misguided with the DJ Trauma, you had a lot of yeah. a lot of songs talking about that other side. Yeah. Do you think it's important for artists to show both sides I when they when like, they rap? I feel like shit. I feel like if you keeping that shit real, you ain't gonna have no trust but to talk about the other side because this shit gonna be on your mind, you feel me? So it's like how could you say you kill every day, kill, 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 kill every day, right? And you you drilling and shit, and you and you smoking niggas and shit. But you ain't saying how you how, what led you to getting like this, what you went through, how you grew up. You ain't you can't talk about you can't put that in the song. You can't talk about goddamn like oh nigga I went broke right here. This is why I had to do this. Like nigga, you making that shit up, bro? Or this nigga did this to my partner. That's why I went over here and did this. You can't elaborate on that shit for real. Yo ass ain't talking about shit, fam. Now. A lot of people uh, got a lot of negative things to say about the streets or being from the streets. Yeah. What are some of the positive things you come positive from? Positive things yeah. from the streets? Yeah. It teaches you to be aware of your surroundings. You feel me? First off, if you ain't finished, just be walking outside and just bouncing through life on no willy nilly ass. You just yeah. flowing through life. You're going to be aware of your surroundings coming from the street. You're going to know how to ration. You feel me? And ration, that, that creates wealth. You feel me? Amen. When you know how to ration, nigga, that's how you get rich, nigga. You feel me? So you're going to know how to ration. You're going to know how to work with what you got. You feel me? I'm good. And you're going to know how to make shit that 
Motherfuckers who been in the house all they all they like might not know how to make. You feel yeah, me? Yeah, nah, for real. We make shit up when you bo- <laughs> when you bored and broke, nigga, you gonna make something. <laughs> Man, I'm gonna I'm, I'm gonna tell you the wildest shit I ever did uh, with some food. You tell me your wildest shit. One time uh, we ain't had no bread, so I put some ham between two pieces, two cookies, wow. and made the sandwich like real that. <laughs> You put the ham, the ham, and two pieces of cookie, two, pieces two cookies, cookie. nigga, and made a made a sandwich with that. What's that? Shit hard. <laughs> I, ain't, I, ain't, I ain't thinking that one. We used to take we used to take the rum and after pack and then sprinkle the sauce on oh, top. Oh yeah, yeah. Eat, eat them bitches like chip. <laughs> Crush them hoes up. Eat them hoes like chip. Yeah. And then you know the ketchup sounds. Everybody know the ketchup yeah. sound and mayonnaise sounds. All that type of shit. You feel me? That what I was on syrup sound. Hey, I, used love, I used to love them serious yeah, sounds. Nah. You was down yeah. a spoil you had serious sounds too. <laughs> nah, nah I'm gonna I'm 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 tell you what fucked me up. One time we was yeah. we used to make sugar bread with butter. Oh yeah, uh, oh yeah, oh yeah, my mama. Sugar we, bread with the butter. Yeah, mm-hmm. but my mama, uh, we as out of sugar, she took that brown sugar out that bitch. That bitch almost tastes like a cinnamon oh, roll. <laughs> hey, look, dude, dude, yeah. hey, look, <laughs> they walk in the kid y'all let though. Cornbread and milk, nigga. Oh my wow. God! Nah, I ain't nah. You yeah, fucked me up with that corn one. Bread cornbread and milk. milk. Oh, I be my grandma, man. Cornbread and milk. That shit taste like cornflakes. Oh, yeah, <laughs> real talk, man. I'm real, real country, baby. Yeah, real country. <laughs> now it is Thanksgiving. Thanksgiving is popping up, bro. Yeah, so you yeah. got to tell me what's the top three dishes. Top three dishes. You know, nigga, I had that turkey on that point with the uh, uh, candy and bro. Ooh, devil eggs. Ooh. <laughs> No, no, top, oh, top three? Yeah. Oh, oh, you oh, go five, go five. Go I'm five. just naming shit yeah, that, that I want on my, I'm just naming shit I want on my plate. Put all this in here. All right, top three, hold on, let me see what you think. Top three. Collard green. For sure. Yep. Cornbread. Yes, yes, Lord. And then what protein? What protein? <laughs> what protein? Nigga, okay. money. <laughs> I would like some, 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 some like barbecue ribs or something. That's going to be barbecue my Barbecue ribs on the Thanksgiving? Yeah, yeah. yeah. That's, who doing that? Who not? He said, who not? <laughs> What's wrong with you? Oh, I, I'm not, I ain't lying to you. Wait, 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 wait. How, many, how many stops you making on Thanksgiving? Oh, I ain't going to lie. I'm making every stop that's cooking. <laughs> now, look, boom, I'm going to fuck with my mom and them. Boom, mom and them first. Two, 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 go eat with my mom and them. My nigga Ken and them might be cooking. Yeah, you know my dog. Two, 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 go get that. Shit, we might throw something at the studio. One of these hoes who know how to cook might come through, whip something up, boop, 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 boop. I ain't gonna lie though, this Thanksgiving finna go down. Damn, I think I'm gonna be on the road Thanksgiving. Uh, <laughs> uh, what, what we going Thanksgiving? Uh huh, I'm gonna be on the road Thanksgiving, but the day after Thanksgiving, I'm coming for all the leftovers. Put my plate to the side, y'all. <laughs> yeah, man, put my shit to the side, man. Nah, for real. Yeah, so. Now, uh, usually, you know, when you are an uh, artist of your caliber, when family functions come around, you know, you got the motherfuckers that's gonna ask for money, maybe. Like Jay Z said, he had cousin gonna ask him for 4500 What's the weirdest shit you've been asked for at a family function? <laughs> I ain't gonna lie, right? People don't like my like my cousins and shit, yeah. and, and like my my aunties and shit. They don't ask me for shit. I ain't gonna lie, oh, they don't ask me for shit. <clears throat> I ain't gonna say they know not to ask me for shit or nothing. They just don't be coming to me with that shit. Now my mom and them shit, like whatever my mom and my mom, that's 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 just law. You feel right. me? But like sure. cousins and shit like that, they don't be asking me for shit. Have you ever had a cousin try to get you on the song? Like, yeah, hey, yeah, yeah, yeah. I did, I did that for one of my cousins, though. Okay. He knew how to rap, though. Nigga, Jen Jen. Shout out Jen Jen, my crazy-ass cousin. Nah, for that real. I did. I, that, that's light work, though. Man, rapping is easy, bro. I do a song for anybody in my family. Nah, for real. Now, um, you doing on the road. You're doing a lot of traveling. Um, how easy or hard is it, you know, just to be more aware of your surroundings when you go different places where you're not from? Man, shit, it's like goddamn. You just gotta, you just gotta like watch. You just, you. All right, this is the thing. And then like tapping in, ain't even tapping in. Tapping in is like, boom. If you know somebody from that city, and you be like, you be like shit, man, I'm finna stop at this store, man. That goes to the club. What store you stopping at? Oh man, motherfucker. Hell nah, but thirty niggas done died up that motherfucker the last month. Yeah. That's you need to know this type of shit. Or your stupid ass, hop out at this store, the nigga. Who that is? You feel me? Like. It's just shit like that. You gotta know something. You feel me? Like you gotta, you gotta know something. And then when they're wrong, do like the Romans. 
wherever I go, whatever vibe I feel, whatever state or city I go to, whatever vibe I feel, that's the vibe I'm coming with that whole day, that whole night type shit. You feel me? If this is cool vibe shit, I'm. If I land at that plane, I walk out that bitch and I. <laughs> it take like smoke out there, ho. <laughs> I mean, that what going on. <laughs> that just what it is, bro. So, are you signed right now? You yeah. signed a 300, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Through, through my label, though, through uh, Overkill NT, I got a distribution deal through my shit with uh, 300. I'm on, well, oh, that's... My, shout out Kevin Lyle, though, man. Oh, that's... Have you, have you had the chance to chop it up with him? Yeah, hey, man. My people, uh, man, we play golf together, all type of oh, shit, Oh, man. man. What's, what, what's, like, one of the best pieces of advice he done gave you? A lot. Shit, man. I fucking like that, damn. Man, I ain't gonna lie, bro. A lot. It's a lot. I can't even just really pinpoint one thing, for real, bro. Hold on, you you on that golf course? Man, I golf, man. Man, oh, man. do you have a outfit? Do you like a lot of niggas be putting that golf shit on? Like, is that a thing? Like, we or do you just regular? I ain't gonna lie, it depends on the event. Right now, if it's a cool, if it's like a, a big event, I'm gonna come with a clean ass fit. But if I'm going to just play, then I'm just gonna put on some comfortable shit. You know, dry fit, uh, button up. You know, cause you gotta wear button up and shit. Yeah. But if it's an event, I'm gonna get fresh for it though. Hey yeah. man, what's your par? Huh? What's your par? I'm like a par. I'm like a par four or five average for real, for real. Oh, like, no. oh you real? You yeah, real? Yeah, real no, 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 I ain't gonna lie. I, I just almost hit a hole in one, bro. At, at Cortez Brown, uh, oh, uh, nigga. At Cortez Brown, uh, fundraiser, bro. For real? Uh, I almost hit a hole in one. I was five yards away from the uh, hole. Uh, uh, uh. You know how like um. And I don't know if you've been on the um, what is it the thing that Diddy do with the, the basketball the Revolt League? What if they did that with the golf shit? That'd who would be you hard, bro. who who would you want to see? Like who would you want to compete against? I want to compete against uh, DJ Khaled. Tell that nigga, yeah, come on, <laughs> and we ain't doing nothing. All that fake and walking on the golf course like you really playing. They come yeah, come get that work, nigga. Uh, uh, DJ Khaled, nigga. I want uh, what what bro name? My dog. My dog. Hold on, he be golfing, man. He be, he be getting loaded too. He smoking this year. He used to play basketball. What's name? He played basketball. Fuck, what you know, bro? Single R and B or rapper? Rapper. Rap. The everybody got mad at him because he was supposed to shoot the ball and he he passed it or something. And then like my dog, he just did the documentary and shit. And they was like, oh, he high all that pussy ass shit. Yeah, he be golfing and shit though. Not he golf. I don't know who. Oh, oh, you talking about? You ain't talking about the one that got the uh, baby with Keisha Cole? No. Nah, he ain't talking about Booby. No, my dog. Remember, remember. Oh, Jr. Yeah, yeah. I want to get out there with Jr. Smith. Come out there and get that work. Nah, that'd be yeah. funny. Jr. Yeah, that'd be funny. Don't funny. Yeah, that'd be funny. I'm with it. I want that. Yeah. I ain't gonna lie. I just love, I love playing golf. And then this is the only sport you can play when you get old, bro. You feel me? Facts though. Facts Real though. Talk. And it's money out there. Like, yeah. like is it in, is it a uh, certain conversation you had on the golf course that that enlightened you or it brought you some, brought you some more knowledge type shit? Yeah, yeah. Yeah. I always I ain't gonna lie. I always it's it's like. It's like, goddamn, it's like, uh, to the, I can't, I can't really explain it. It's, right. it's like, once you, once you know how to play, I, I ain't gonna tell, I can't tell a motherfucker, like, go play golf, there's money on the golf course. Right, right. If you out there motherfucking, you just bullshitting, they gonna know you bullshit. Right. You feel me? So they gonna, man, who is this nigga trying to go? But if you out there motherfucker, you really know what you're doing, then the conversation start. Now, how long you been playing, now, you know what I'm saying, who do, who all that, then you, you know, make the proper introduction into what business you're into and all that type of shit. Now, uh, I know you uh, be on the court, golf course and, you know, you smile, you fuck them up with the Yeah, with the they, they, they be like that shit. I was, on, I was out there with an anchor man. I almost won a, I, I almost won a putting competition with an anchor man on, on my baby, on my mama. I'm good. And, and a putting competition, it was like, it was a long put competition. I'm on one. It was like 50 niggas out there. Just pros and everything. It's uh, hard. Ain't come on at all. I got a pitch. I'm going to show you how to pitch. Oh, shit. It's Better pick. <laughs> okay. Okay. I'm like, hey, Kim, I'm lying, bro. And nigga, my mom, I wore a yellow fit. I want I want, I want everybody to see me. I wore all yellow. Oh, jeez. I'm like, yeah. nah, but I had fun, though. That was at the 300 Entertainment uh, Golf uh, event. Fuck. It's, it might take me a while, guys. That's cool. Like, I got this is the question I got to ask, right? You know, when you when you doing your thing, you finally come into some money, right? As a as a black person, right? We don't be knowing what to invest in. We just have money, right? Was there somebody that kind of hipped you up on game or put you up on game on what you should be putting your money into and all that type of stuff? Hell yeah, niggas like Ken, niggas like only Ken. Like growing up, I ain't never had no like no um, 
no role models, no shit like that, for real, for real, to like just teach me shit. Until I started meeting people like, bro, you feel me? And t- talking about <laughs> investing and shit and how important it is to invest and have your money in something. You feel me? It don't really matter what it is, as long as it's bringing profit and bringing. I'm trying to, I'm trying to get to a point where I have like ten businesses that bring in residual income each month. You feel me? What's like a good start? I only got one child, huh? What's like a good start? You think? Just a, for like somebody, for somebody yeah, he might got start, a twenty a good, bands. A good something. start is uh oh twenty bands. Yeah. I was just gonna say a good start is in the world. A start is a thought. You feel me? Boom. If you got twenty bands, that means you got the means to put the thought into play. You feel me? And if you put it thought into play, it's like. It's whatever you want to do. What you want to? What you want to? Uh, uh, make clothes. I right, buy like two, three sewing machines. Teach two of your cousins how to sew. You feel me? Have them sitting there watching you make the clothes. So boom, you come up with the design. Your cousins and them, they already run. Boom, they can run them design. Now y'all shipping these out. You feel me? That's gonna take like how much? How much, man? How much it is to get a cover sewing machine? Probably like five hundred. Four, five hundred dollars. Boom. So, so you only. So you. So now you got nineteen five. Boom. So goddamn with the nineteen. <laughs> nah, for real. You want, to, you want me to break it down to you? Know, to you. Like, that's how you started. You got to put your thoughts in the play. Whatever you want to do, you got to do it. Has that always been how you? Uh... Nope. <laughs> nope. I was raw with dog. I ain't, I ain't know how to do shit but take shit. On you. Ain't nobody like teach me out of. I grew up in a crack house, but never got caught on like the uh, hustling part. That was never me type of shit. What I made just, you? I just love the music and shit. I was gonna say, what made you step into the music? Uh, I always just love the words and shit. I was always the best uh, writer in my class and shit. And my mama. And I always liked the reading and shit. Going to juvenile hall and shit, reading them urban, urban, them urban books. Sister Soldier and shit. Cold as one ever. Y'all yeah. hear that? Y'all hear the midnight? Yeah, I don't know what the fuck I'm talking about. <laughs> nah. Drop it in the comments if you know what we're talking know. about. Drop it in the comments. Drop it in the comments. <laughs> Nah, Since I sold the heart. I used to have a crush on her when I was in juvenile high. That, that, that shit crazy. Now, this one thing I wanted to ask: Can you sing? Because I'll be listening to your music, and I'll be like, "This nigga sound like he might could actually you, sing." You want to hear me sing? Nah, I don't want to hear you sing. But I'm just curious if you would just go straight on, like make a straight on B track for the women type. Yeah, shit. yeah, my mama. I be on that type of shit. I be fucking with it. I be fucking with them. So I want, I want to do some shit like that. But uh, I ain't really comfortable to just all the way go all that like, singing Same, though. You yeah. feel me? Gotcha. And I don't want to just like thump my fans with that shit. He's like, what the fuck this nigga trying to do? Right, <laughs> right type shit. Yeah, I don't do but if you was to do like a, a R&B and a rap collab, who would you do the R&B shit with? Coco Jones or something. Ooh, now that'd be a... Coco Jones. Ooh, that'd be a... Uh, Adele. Ooh. Oh, so you an R&B head. Adele. You really, you really fuck with R&B. I ain't gonna lie, Then It's a couple, um, it's a couple guys. Sam Smith. Sam Smith, the monster. Bro, uh, yeah. Louis Capaldi. <laughs> I say this nigga name. I, I say that nigga name. Check that nigga hard. Yeah. Yeah. Damn, then I want to work with like it's a it's a it's a le- nigga a legend to me, James Bay. I want to work with him, bro. I want to work with that nigga. What's a genre of music that you listen to that nobody would think that you listen to? Oh shit! I feel like it's been coming out now. People, I've been telling, I've been talking about it more. But I listen to like alternative music though. Like, you want to see my playlist? Sure. Huh, read my playlist up. Read my playlist up. Don't skip nothing. Yeah, I got you. You can keep it a hundred. <laughs> you know, I don't, have, I don't do nothing in private that I'm scared to talk about in public. Yeah. Okay. Hold on, hold on. Hold on. Hold on. <clears throat> what that playlist called? My mood. My mood, for sure. <clears throat> Before you go, Louis Capri, is it? Louis Capaldi. Capaldi. Before. Closer. Kings of Leon. Kings of Leon. Oh, okay. Praise Sam Smith. Love someone. Love Lucas someone. Graham. Lucas Graham, yeah. Beloved. Mum Mumford. Mumford, Mumford, and, Mumford and Sons. Mumford and Sons, yeah. My nigga. Okay. Calm and Rain. One hour of relax. <laughs> oh, <laughs> that nigga listen to the that nigga listen to the rain. Hey, bro. I, the rain and shit. White noise, bro. Yeah. I ain't gonna lie, something about that white noise, bro. That's it, that's Before it, I be man. ready to, <laughs> we, 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 we we as humans don't know how much we need water. That's right. what it is. So people are listen to the rain and be like, bro, this shit doing something to me. Duh, yeah, bitch, yeah. It, it relaxes you, help your body and everything. You think we drink it for nothing? Now I got a question for you because uh, me and one of my homegirls was having a conversation. She said all water tastes the same. Hell, do you believe that? I kind of agree. 
I kind of agree. Essentially, I kind of agree. Cause it's like it's water, bro. It's I water. come up, I come up drinking out the water hole. Man, I come up drinking out the I water hole. And, 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 and when I walk, and when I walk in the store, I don't. And when I like, if I walk in the store for some water per se. When I open the shit, I don't be like, oh shit, should I get the boss of the Fiji? I don't, I just grab the first water that catch my eye and then walk out. So essentially, I kind of agree. I don't, all this shit be the same to me, man. Facts. Now, man, uh, we actually got a guy coming named Yada. It was an interview that went viral about on one side we had a young guy, right? And they were talking about 50 50 going 50 50 with a woman. Going 50 right? 50 with a bitch. Yeah, going 50 50 with a woman. And the, and the man, he was older, but he was jeweled up, you know, but he was trying to give the young man game and let him know you don't get the most out of your woman if you go 50 50. What you mean? Yeah. Like, okay, so for example, like you when don't you get take the most out of your woman, that's, you what he, 50, 50? that's what he was saying. You don't really experience your full submissive woman huh? if you, if you ain't, that's what he said. Elaborate. Okay, so basically he was saying a woman ain't meant to struggle. She ain't meant to go 50 50. If you going 50 50 with a woman, she's doing 50% of your job because it's your job to take care of everything. So, how about I take care of 100 and fuck 50 bitches? <laughs> That's what the but see so that so it was like the young guy was kind of on the, the opposite end right so he was like I'm young bro I'm making that you know what I'm saying so he was kind of arguing the point so I was gonna ask your your opinion so well, my opinion on that I don't I don't totally disagree right because I feel like okay but it's, it's it's different type of women in the world right. you have different you you got you got women that 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 prey on that type of shit. You feel me? Yeah. Like they actually pray on this shit. Like not pray to God, no. Like pray like I'm gonna eat <laughs> yeah, type yeah. shit. Like oh, this nigga a sucker. You feel me? I'm finna have this nigga. Woo -woo -woo -woo. And they will try to live off that as long as they can. We can't forget about that. But you have wholesome women who cook clean, make sure you like nurturing women who deserve that type of treatment. You feel me? Who ain't finna fuck off? Ain't finna be in a club with their ass out no nothing. You feel me? So it's like it depends on the type of girl that's asking for that shit. Now if you a girl that I know. I can look at you and read you down the line. You might fuck me over. I'm not finna pay for everything, and I'm not finna marry you. You feel me? Me, if I meet a girl and I'm paying for everything, I'm thinking marriage. I'm thinking kids. I'm thinking you can stay that's home and watch these but kids. But that's what he was on. He yeah, was talking about her. like your actual wife. Wife, like you know, yeah, that real shit. Nah, I'm See, my my thing is right. Cause but look, yeah, go ahead, brother. Let me finish. Boom, this is the actual wife. But at the same time, though. If I pass away, God forbid, my kids gonna be fucked up. My wife ain't got shit going on. Start a business or something. Sure. And when you start, when you start that business, what you, you just what, what you gonna put that shit in the trust fund until I go? His whole, his whole thing was you supposed to train her and she's supposed to be your helpmate. So. Like you say, you start a business and you show her how to run the business how, type yeah, shit. Yeah, that type of shit. Yeah, that, oh, oh mama, I feel that. I feel that. But. That's, and, and, that was, and that was the young oh, nigga. Yeah, 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 yeah. So the young nigga was like, bro, I make fourteen dollars an hour, bro. Oh. <laughs> like, but but you because his whole thing is if you don't provide fully, you shouldn't even be dating. And basically shouldn't even be dating. That what he that's These what he's eating dick for free. Yeah. First off, we're gonna get this shit out of the way, bro. <laughs> These hoes eating dick for free, fool. Oh god. I'm talking about two of them at the same time. Two, 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 two. Oh my mom, call a friend. Oh gang. Oh my baby. But it's like, what the, man, I don't even get the point of the conversation. When I find a girl that I really want to marry, that going to be that. But if but you wasn't in the position you was in, it. let's say you were just, you was, you know, you were struggling, you was kind of doing your thing, yeah. you, you might be straight, but you're not all the way there yet, how would you play it? With the bitch? Yeah. Or the, or the woman? With, nah, with the girl you trying to marry for real. Okay, with the woman. Yeah. All right, boom, so goddamn. How would I play it if, I'm, if I really want to be with her? I done told a girl, like, man, I ain't gonna lie. I ain't what I'm in life to just got down, just settle down with you, you feel me? I like you a lot, you feel me? I love you for real, but I don't got down. I ain't, I done told a girl that for, oh, geez. Yeah. I'm like, I can't, basically, I can't afford that shit. Like. They be with it, though. Hmm? Yeah, they be with it. Still, I'm talking about still can call her right now, and she gon', yeah. hey, but we just can't. Uh, and I believe how y'all feel about pilot polygamy, not pilot. Pilot is that new shit. Dude. That other shit. The, the work. Yeah, <laughs> pilot is what the shit. women doing. Yeah, what the fuck they got going on? Yeah. Talking about two niggas and yeah. one girl. And shit. That's pilot. <laughs> Why ain't we on the? How y'all feel about polygamy though? I feel like that's. <laughs> Bob Marley did he had all his wives in the band. I just always feel like, no matter how you play it. It's always gonna be one that looking at the other like that opened up a whole another question though. Mm -hmm. For sure, you gotta afford to have that many bitches in your house. But you can, though. you can. 
So would you do it? Huh? You can, so would you do it? Hey, hey. Yeah. <laughs> but, but but you still okay. All right, let's say you just had a down ass chick that you could still flip other females with. Oh, like would you rather that? Would you rather that or two? Yeah, I I'd rather that in a day. That, that, see, that's my thing though. That's really my lifestyle for real. But see, here's the thing, bro. With me, once I lock in with one, I feel like she the only one worth spending money on. Like you the other one you just get with yeah. Yeah. Pick a you, bitch. Yeah. yeah pick I, a bitch and we finna sludge this whole out together. Yeah, I don't even, I don't even wanna pick the bitch, fool. Pick the bitch. Yeah. yeah. Cause I'm not finna be treat I'm not finna yeah. everybody can't everybody ain't everybody the queen. ain't getting that treatment. Yeah. <laughs> Somebody <laughs> gonna get McDonald's nuggets. Ain't nobody getting that treatment right now from little peas. So you you so right now, right? Um you know, broke nigga shit, tax season coming up. Mm -hmm. How how you playing it? How would you play it? Tax season coming up, nigga. You know, I you pay trying taxes. to I know you do. I'm talking about we talking about if you was the fourteen an hour dog. Oh, I'm saying you, you how you would play it. You better find you something that, that that's big and wide and go for that ride. Yeah, man. Find you something big and wide, go for that ride, man. Nah, yeah. for real. All right. Okay, here's here's one. You we, paid for your companionship, young nigga. <laughs> you got a baby, right? Huh? You got a baby, right? Yeah, I got a little boy. Me and him had this conversation, right? It was tax time, right? And I think um, I ain't gonna put out no names, but oh y'all wanted that, y'all wanted that cheese, me. Boy, been, <laughs> no, 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 no. Hold on, let my little boy do. Yeah, no, nah, I ain't know no shit like <laughs> no, that. No, you no, gotta hear that. No, no. Go ahead, go ahead, go ahead, tell us. My. Me and my me and my BM had a whole discussion. Hey man, this year is all me. You've you been for the last extra years. Mm -hmm. It's been you. Let me win one year. Let me let me, let me get let me get me one time. Let me get me one time. Let me get. Yeah, I had I had plans. I had some shit I was trying to accomplish. She, cool. Get to that tax office. Boom boom bam. For, the man come back. Yeah, somebody already claimed you back, <laughs> nigga. Hiding up, nigga. Yeah, I, I have been blowing. We all turned into a we fireball, already. nigga. <laughs> Do your homework on we already talked about this. <laughs> Nigga, hey, have you ever gotten a car and shook the steering wheel like <laughs> you've oh, been so <laughs> I done got pulled over and did that shit for me. Why the police walking up to the car? <laughs> <laughs> oh my life. Oh, now, I gotta ask you about Tubi, man. Tubi? Tubi, the Tubi culture right now. It seems like everybody jumping in. You ain't fucking with it? I'm fucking with it. I like it. I'm absolutely fucking with it. What I was gonna ask you was your top three hood movies of all time. It ain't, yeah. It ain't ghetto, gotta be Tubi. Ghetto Storage, Lil Boosie, Paid and Fool, and, uh, and, 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 and Belly. Is Belly really a hood? That bitch like a cinematic. That bitch so goddamn good. That's a hood movie. It's a hood movie. I like can't put I can't put it up there with the with the with the with the Tubi type shit. Nah, that bitch. Okay, ghetto stores, ghetto stores, uh uh pay the fool next that was Tubi. Yeah. What about New Jersey Drive? Yeah, that might yeah. New Jersey Drive. Yeah, uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. All right, so New Jersey Drive, <laughs> ghetto stores, and goddamn ball of black. Oh yeah, ball of black. Yeah, yeah. 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 I always wonder see, I like Tubi because I always was wondering why niggas didn't make more movies like that. So I was gonna ask you. Do you have any plans on making movies? Because yeah, I feel like yeah. that's a whole avenue that I think artists should be. Yeah, yeah. Cause I'm, I'm finna get on that actor shit for sure. I want to, man. I, I got to for real. Baby Denzel, my mama. My dog talking about my dog got a series. He talking about uh booster artist, uh China. He got a series. He talking about uh putting me in. Oh God, I told him I was gonna fuck with him. Now, uh, if you was to be in a movie or a series, what type of role would you want to play? I feel like I already kind of like stereotype myself by getting like permanent diamonds in my mouth. So I, it's either they're going to put me in a gangster role or a dope boy or some shit like that. Yeah. But I would I would be open to play any role as long as it ain't, it ain't going against my morals and who I am as a man. Amen, amen. Yeah. Man. man. Could you, could you cry on command? Like, if, like if I, think I, I think I could. Oh, that's I ain't cried in a long time though. Damn. Yeah. I'm trying to think of a throw roll. <laughs> <laughs> you had to be like a reform pastor that didn't yeah. didn't take the goals out. You still oh, yeah, preaching with you. Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> I'm trying to tell you, young niggas, about the Lord. <laughs> <laughs> hey, I gotta ask you, man. It's, it's a lot of scamming going on, bro. With the with the online niggas scamming niggas and just you know people acting like fake gurus and shit like that. What you think about that? It'd be a lot of people be um DM me talking about um because I don't miss no DM. I don't miss no DM, no comment, no nothing. Damn. Yeah. Well, I try not to. I ain't gonna lie. <clears throat> Boom. Goddamn. If these niggas DM me talking about some, hey, um, I got a message from your ancestors or something like that for mm -hmm. you. Yeah. 
And I'm like, what? My ancestors reached out to you? And and not uh, me? Oh, uh, damn, why they ain't get up with me? I be having a hard night sleeping like they could have knocked on my door. <laughs> yeah, man. Great, great, grand came while they too by me. Man. What I'm doing wrong? Man, the crazy part. Not to talk about nobody religion or something. It's just like that. I don't know. I don't know. I, I don't. I can't. I can't speak too much about what I don't know about. But I just. I don't get it. The best one I done seen is some dude DM me. It was a nigga I knew that went to the feds, and they DM me like, "Say, bro, it's this him on the page. All his pictures, everything." It's like, "Say, bro, man, I'm fucked up down here, man. Uh, I'm just wondering, can you shoot me some?" I said, "Whoever this is, if you knew the nigga the page you had tag who you." Created, you wouldn't be doing this because this nigga is too much, had too too much money. But it's just be like somebody had DM. That's crazy. Somebody DM me on my home, but uh, not my home, but page. It was a fake page. Uh, mm-hmm. Shiny boy. I'm on it. Like, bro, send me something. I'm like, man, I just got the phone. With this nigga, <laughs> <laughs> bro. But scamming is just, and the way niggas is scamming now is just crazy. Speaking yeah, of, I ain't gonna lie, niggas scam like a motherfucker with their Telegram, all that yeah. shit. Speaking of like niggas not getting what they owed or getting old trying to get old, man, Boosie on niggas ass for uh just all type of uh copyright infringement and <laughs> uh, uh, st- but um I was just wondering what is your views on you know if an artist say he takes a bar a couple of bars out your song or whatever do you feel like it should be compensated for it do you look at it as just paying homage how do you view on rappers using other rappers lyrics? Okay, so but me personally, this ain't got nothing to do with books. Uh, who who had, who he went at again? Yeah, YG, Rod Wave. This ain't got nothing to do with none of them. This ain't got nothing to do with books. This is how I would handle the situation. Feel me? If I ain't know nobody, in it. if I was like a legend or something, and my and my music big, right? And me and a nigga get into it. Or me and a nigga don't like each other, or not even just getting to it or don't like each other. I only trip if like you did some like some real shit to me, or I, I did some real shit to you, and now you taking my shit and, and flipping it and trying to make me look like a hoe. Right, 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 you feel right. me? Boom. Then I'd be like, all right, you want to play? I'm gonna show you how this industry works. Yeah. But like, if a motherfucker just paying homage and they music for me, yeah. I let them have it. I ain't gonna lie. I I just let them have it because. One, it's keeping me alive, you feel me? Even though I'm staying alive myself, but it's still keeping, you know, it's keeping me in now, you feel me? And they showing their love for a nigga. So I don't really know, but I kind of feel both sides on it. I feel both sides on it, to be completely honest. It's like, okay, Boots, I feel you. Boots probably feel like ain't nobody really fucking with him. They just singing his music, you feel me? Right. Like, but damn, you don't need, like if I call you, you ain't gonna answer. You know what I'm saying? But you want to use one lyrics and shit. Like, you paying homage. So that's probably how he feeling. And then yeah. Raw Wave probably on some, like, I ain't even got your number, big bro. You feel me? Like, right. I don't call you. I ain't got your number. And I'm really paying homage. So it's like, I kind of feel both sides. Like, I feel like they just need to talk to each other. Facts. H- has anybody ever flipped anything that you did? Uh, <coughs> yep, yep. I had a couple, I had a couple, uh, a couple, uh, a couple fans said that that flipped my shit. It wasn't no big artist or none of them. I didn't have beat. I didn't have producers give me beats and they ain't tell me they gave them to other people. Oh, yeah. Man. Um, I'm, also, like you didn't rap on the same shit as another nigga yeah, on accident. And then, and then, like I be, I be riding to this song for a minute and then they will drop on the beat and then I be like, damn. I thought I was on one with this beat. So what I'm gonna do with this? It's supposed to be on my album. Oh man, that type of shit. But it's whoever pay first though. Oh, that's how it go. Yeah, whoever okay. pay first, I guess. Now, now, but well, this is what I want to I want to ask about uh, the AI, right? Yeah, <laughs> you scared of that shit? Now, I'm asking for y'all because <laughs> they just put out the uh, that that water shit with Tyler, and they had it was all AI, right? And the shit sound like Drake. The shit sound like other people, but that nigga didn't write that shit. They chat GP, whatever they did, and the shit sound good. So my question is, would you ever use it to your advantage? Well, like, me, oh, I see what you're saying. <laughs> yeah, like, Niggas got AIs writing their reps now? Yes. No. Bro, they, they, on Twitter yesterday, they was like, nigga, they ain't even write this shit, nothing. They just used the voice and used the little chat GPT shit. That, bro, that shit was hard. Yeah, nah, this I shit know. was hard. It was, it was too hard. Man, I, was like, I never, I never used that to my advantage. I don't know why. 
because that shit just gonna make my value go up because I'm a real nigga and I'm right. doing this shit from the store, man. This shit out the dirt with this shit, yeah. So my, my live performance is gonna be raw because I'm a real person. This ain't no hologram, no AI. Yeah. So you see me, it's gonna be the same person you heard on the song. It, it, it's gonna be the same voice every time. Nigga might forget what that AI said. I ain't finna forget what the fuck I said. He gonna be at his show trying to remember, like, what the fuck that computer said? <laughs> Damn. Are you fucking with that AI shit? Mm-hmm. Are you fucking with that? I like, feel like we in the future. That shit clean to me. I, I ain't gonna lie. We in the future. I fuck with it, nigga. I wanna see a flying car, nigga. I guess what? <laughs> I guess what fucks me up about it is because like you just know as soon as that shit come out, niggas ain't gonna have no job. Like yeah, yeah, yeah. I ain't gonna lie. Ain't gonna lie to, on, on some Amazon shit, trucking all that all, shit. All boys to the side. Yeah, he ain't finna be no jobs. <laughs> That shit, that shit dope. Yeah, robot, robots and shit when they take over yeah. everything, everything they can. Yeah. I mean, I said some of my song. If you find a way to make the world more lazy, you'll get rich. Nah, that's so crazy. they finna have, they finna have robots doing everything for us and shit. They already got little robots driving down the street bringing you food. It's a McDonald's in one of these states that cook your food and shit for you, all type mm-hmm. of shit. I ain't gonna lie, that shit clean though. We in the future. I ain't scared. I'm gonna give me some money. <laughs> I'm gonna give me some money, nyan. <laughs> so you gonna, gonna, gonna find a way? Money, nyan. Yeah, man. <laughs> hey. I just hope them bitches don't take over the world. <laughs> Be nah, like I roll back. <laughs> now the new project, and what's the name of that project again? La Paris. La Paris. Yeah. What made you name it that? Cause that my name, and I. And oh I wow. Like, okay. Yeah, that my government name. Okay. Like, so I got down, I wanted to, um, I feel like I always came with like quote quotables and shit like uh, loyalty over love, too deep for tears and shit like that. I just wanted to like do a self, self-titled self album one time, you feel me? Give, give them my different personalities instead of talking about just life, you feel me? And uh, I know it ain't out yet, but what's a song that's going to be on this motherfucker that uh, everybody ain't ready for? They ain't ready for that man, Kevin Gates. Ooh. Nah, they ain't ready for that. They ain't ready for that. <laughs> they ain't ready for man, Gates. Is, a, is it hard being a, the in type of nigga that you are in this industry? Yes. Hell yeah. <laughs> man, that shit is so stressful, bro. Because I got a real, I got a pure heart. Damn. Right. So it's like, I don't know, bro. I be fucking with people, bro. So I be trying, I be, it's, it's, the hard part is not letting this shit change me. Right. Then, like, some days I wake up and be like, fuck this shit. And I be yeah. like, hell, no, I'm still be me, man, you feel me? Man, what was something earlier in your career that you found out that was just disappointing? Like, fuck, I can't uh, believe this shit. Like, where in the beginning? In the beginning. Let me see. When I was like, when I found out niggas be buying their YouTube views, I said, Oh, oh yeah. <laughs> I say no. Yeah, niggas buy them hoes. Not him. <laughs> niggas buy them hoes. Yeah, like that. Take that shit to a streaming farm. Something I'm like saying, that. Oh, oh yeah. That shit crazy. Uh man, you really big with the fashion, man. Like I'm okay. Nah, I mean bro, you be putting on them pieces that uh bro you Everybody know, can't put on the pieces. Put, uh, put put on, you, why why you feel you so outgoing? What makes you so outgoing with it? Or what make you decide, yeah, I'm I'm gonna try that, I'm gonna do that? Because it's it's like at the end of the day, I know myself, you feel me? Amen. And then I, I know myself to the point where like everybody around me know me, they know what I'm gonna go for and what I'm not gonna go for, you feel me? So it's like I can do what I wanna do. You feel me? I ain't gonna do no off the wall shit, but I'm, I'm gonna do what I wanna do though, you feel me? They peas and peas. Do you think you could uh, uh, be on that runway? Hey, I feel like I'm perfect for this. <laughs> I'm tall, dog, handsome, slim. They need to come highly in for real, and I'm charismatic. Amen. What? Now, Too much charisma. Now, uh, what's the most ridiculous amount of money you spent on a fit? Oh, I spent. Uh, I wouldn't say ridiculous. Probably like like six thousand. Like, I would say ridiculous. <laughs> That, that, ain't, that ain't ridiculous though. I ain't gonna that ain't it ridiculous. ain't it ain't with I like super hands though. <laughs> it, it it's ridiculous when you feel like you can only wear this bitch one time. Yeah, maybe yeah, twice. Yeah. That's that's, when, that's the ridiculous part. <laughs> like I'd never be able to put this shit and on. And this again. before I knew how to dress for real. So it was like 
it, all that shit matched. I can't wear this shit with no other shit. Like, you know what I'm saying? Like, this right here, I could take these and wear, wear with another top and right. switch it. Like, you know what I'm saying? I can, I can work the motherfuckers. Yeah, but I couldn't work. The, I'm, I'm spending 6000 on a fit I only can wear one time. Now, I can wear the shoes again, probably. Now, when did you realize... I don't even need to. These niggas wear us already. These niggas is in H and M. When, when was that? <laughs> Bro, nigga. <laughs> no. man. I had people that shit. Uh, I people that shit uh, a little bit early on, but I ain't really care what. Once I started peeping clothes, once I started getting into it, I really got into it. So I'm like, man, I like, like I like this shit. I don't even really be giving a fuck. Like if I like it, I want it. Yeah. Yeah, I mean, like that be my type of shit. Now, uh, after this project, you know, what are some of the plans for 2024? What are, what are, what is our next steps? Next plan for 2024? When we drop this project. Tour. I'm going on tour. I'm trying to go on tour in March. <laughs> trying to tour March. Man, that tour life is, uh, is stressful, you know what I'm I saying? I love you know? it. I really? love it. Ain't nothing like it, bro. Ain't nothing like it, bro. Now, now I want you to keep it real. Who shows you more love? Alabama or LA when you go do the cause you from both. So which one go more crazy? Oh Sacramento uh, Sacramento uh, yeah. uh I mean Sacramento, my bad. Sacramento or Mobile. <clears throat> Neither one of them love me no more. Oh. Sacramento don't love me no more like that. Mobile don't love me no more like that, man. Why you think they that is? They don't love me, bro. Hmm? Why you think that is? Mm-hmm. Oh, we gotta ask them, man. Oh, shit, we gotta I've been, I've been like lately. I've been in the, I've been in the, I've been in the Denver, Colorado, the the Utahs. I've been in the uh, Kansas City, the Topeka, Kansas. Uh, Don't keep it real. White people way more supportive than black people when it comes to music. Uh. Cause you name in a lot of places that uh, black people no, just no, don't be at. No, hell not. Kansas City, the nigga, they got them. I mean, Kansas City, yeah, for sure, yeah. But um, them for two, though, I ain't gonna lie. I just bring out a, even in Sacramento, I ain't gonna lie. I was, I was really, you know, I, I was trolling when I said they don't love me no more. You know they love me, you feel me? But I, don't, I ain't really, I got to do a show out there. Basically, that's what I was saying. I ain't been going, I, I ain't been going there lately, you feel me? I thought they, they gonna get on my head. So I got to do a show in Mobile and a show in Sacramento. I got to do like a homecoming for both of them, you feel me? But goddamn, is I got I got a very like diverse crowd because I I be I be speaking that pain. You feel me? Like everybody don't know how to dance. Everybody ain't rich. Everybody ain't popping the shit. But even the rich people going through pain. You feel me? So I feel like everybody be feeling that shit. It be like white people, Mexican people, like uh, uh, Chinese, Asian. I mean. Um, it be a lot of different people, bro. I done had, I done had down like every race come up to me and, and like tell me like I done helped them through some shit. Now, with pain music, it's like you can get stuck in it. Yeah, you could. So what do you do to self, you know, let's say after you've done a song like that or had to go to a place to create some music like that, how do you pull yourself out of it? Oh, I don't really, I ain't gonna lie. Me, I don't really give a fuck. I ain't gonna lie, not like that. <laughs> not like that, okay. I don't want this shit bother me no more. So I can revisit anything I went through in my past. Like, cause I, I really had to, I really had to detach myself from a lot of shit growing up. Like, you feel me? This is what people really don't know. I really ain't never said this in interview. Like, I, I had to like separate myself from a lot of shit. You feel me? So like, when I, when I revisit shit that I went through or shit that I seen, that shit don't bother me. Like, it don't bother me. Cause like, you can say a nigga numb to it and shit. That's why I can laugh about being in the U-Haul for three days going to California and going to a shelter with my sister shirt on, goddamn, and, and no shoes on. You feel me? I could talk freely in the interview by my partner blowing his head off in front of me. You feel me? You know what I'm saying? Because I, it don't, you know, I, I didn't, I taught myself that death is like a baby being born and ain't nothing forever. Feel me? That's just what it is. So, uh, do you lean on spirituality at all when yeah, it comes yeah, to stuff yeah, like yeah. that? Yeah. I feel like I feel like I feel like I'm one of God's favorites for sure. I'm one of God's favorites for sure. He so, helped me through some shit. Before we get out of here, is there any artist that you don't know or do know that you feel like need that shout out or that push that you want to shout out? 
FBL, man, I got my dog with him right here. He's acting like he fake sleep and shit in his <laughs> jacket, man. He's acting like he sleep, playing crazy. He out there playing crazy right now. Boom. So, goddamn, Jay Montana, you feel me? Trench on the pool, the R&B Iceberg, Lil Jock, Billy Game Tish, motherfucking. It's a few motherfuckers. Did I forget anyone? Yeah. Hey, they free my dog Hennecom too, niggas going down. Yeah, they free Hennecom, yeah. niggas. He got out and got right on the bullshit. Down, <laughs> hey. Hey. He got out and got right on that bullshit. Yeah. <laughs> I'm behind him, I ain't gonna lie. That's my <laughs> dog, nigga. Do what you do. Hey, do what you do, go. Oh, geez, did, you say, did you say belly gang kush? Yeah. Bro, I just, bro. I just got put on him like a week ago, right? Yeah, my dog. Super <laughs> He's that my, that my nigga. He up, he up but that I was, nigga. I was like, uh, what, what is he? <laughs> he said, what is, is he? Black? Is he? I don't know. <laughs> yeah, you gotta roll the dice. I don't know. <laughs> I know he, I know he can say nigga though. You know what I'm I know he, no, bro, he, he, hey, bro. he got my stamp. Yeah. No. Hey, but you, that's what I'm. That's crazy because. That, that's the clip I seen, and I went down a rabbit hole because he was like, <laughs> yeah. they was like, who can say nigga? He said, me. <laughs> <laughs> he got my stuff, though. Play, he said, I'm a player. <laughs> he got my stuff. He like, real player. Nigga. Yeah. I'm here to try to get money. He like, that in my world. <laughs> <laughs> Do you got any merch or anything that anybody need to look at for? Oh, shit. Uh, I got new merch on the way, man. Pick the link in my uh, in my bio. You yes, sir. Yes, sir. And before, you got any shout outs? Shout out God, man. Amen. Keeping me through hell, keeping me breathing. Shout out my mama now. You know, that's about it. And uh, for anybody who want to get in contact with you for any bookings or features, how would they do that? Nigga, fuck y'all, nigga. <laughs> yeah. Get in contact with me. I'll just fuck with you. <laughs> you see, I could be an actor for real, but look, <laughs> how at my dog, man. Uh, hit the number in my Instagram bio. In, in my Instagram bio, man, that's my booking for everything. You know. Hey, man. Um. This is the part of this I enjoy because, uh, man, bro, a lot of rap artists are very boring, <laughs> and you know. But you came here, you're very articulated, nah, for real. and you know, very well spoken, and you play golf. <laughs> <laughs> when you back in the city, man, please come back and sit down with us. We gotta go all the way through there, man. Hey, and this is the best part of it. On B P Z, you are a real life street star. <laughs> yeah.